Hello, friends. Today, I bring you some news regarding Open Foam. As is customary within the Open Foam community, the Open Foam Foundation has officially launched the new version in this second half of the year, marking the 12th release, which features several noteworthy updates and enhancements over the previous version, aimed at improving user experience and functionality. To explore the specific details this new version offers compared to the previous one, we navigate to the download section and then select Open Foam version 12. In this exciting new release, I would like to point out several highlighted modifications that have been made in this version. I will emphasize a few of these enhancements that we frequently utilize when developing complex simulations for our various projects. For example, regarding the turbulence model, it indicates more robust, simplified fields and also wall function corrections. From this observation, we can reasonably infer that our proposed solutions or simulations will converge quite rapidly and efficiently. Additionally, regarding heat, a viscous heat model has been added, and the configuration related to thermodynamic properties has also been improved. The mesh has undergone several updates, and multiple regions have now been coupled together. Let's take a look on-site later to discuss what these improvements regarding the meshing entail. In terms of parallel simulation, we have developed a variety of efficient options that focus on effective load balancing, decomposition, and redistribution of tasks. This innovative approach allows us to conclude that we will significantly achieve faster results during the development of parallel simulations, a crucial aspect that plays a vital role in the success of large-scale projects. Then, regarding the boundary conditions, he says that we have new boundary conditions related to pressure, velocity, and temperature. I am quite curious about this matter. I would really like to know what these new border conditions entail and whether they are entirely new or just updates to the current existing ones. In the settings section, new units are being added, for example, bars. We still don't know if it's the only one regarding pressure bars or if there are also new units that we can configure within open foam. And finally, the easy installation of ParView and the decomposition of libraries. This particular section of the ParView installation process is quite important, as many of you encountered issues while installing ParView in the previous version, version 11. Specifically, when attempting to run it using the ParaFoam command, an error message would frequently appear, causing frustration for users. However, in version 11, the developers made this update somewhat later than expected, which led us to realize that the installation process of ParView is now significantly faster. We anticipate that in this latest version, the installation procedure should follow a similar efficient approach. All right, friends, let's move forward together with the installation of this exciting new version, which comes with many notable updates, and then run it in our projects. To install OpenFoam 12, we first need to install Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL, and for that, we go to the Start menu and type in PowerShell. Inside PowerShell, we will run it as an administrator. If you believe this is a notification prompting you to allow the application to make changes, please click yes, and this window will appear for your confirmation. To zoom in and obtain a clearer view of this terminal, simply press the control key and move the scroll wheel accordingly. Similarly, we will now open the Google search engine, and from there, we will navigate to the official OpenFoam website at openfoam.org. We navigate to the downloads folder, execute the file on Windows, and then we will continue with the installation of the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. If you have Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, installed, you can easily check its status by typing WSL, L, B in the command prompt. In this particular situation, I had already uninstalled the application beforehand. You can easily do the same, just like you would with any other Windows application. Since I currently do not have a toilet installed in my bathroom, I'm going to skip to step three and proceed directly with the installation process. Let's copy this entire command line carefully, right-click to select copy, and here in PowerShell, we can simply right-click to paste it. We are going to install WSL, with the subsystem being Ubuntu version 2204. I press enter, and that starts the installation. This installation will take a few seconds. The installation was successfully completed, and the operation was carried out correctly. The changes will take effect once the system is restarted. To verify that Ubuntu 22.04 has been installed, you can go to the Start menu and you will see it here at the top, Ubuntu 22.04. If you click on Ubuntu, the terminal will appear at that moment, 
but you won't be able to see or execute any commands or programs because we need to restart our operating system before proceeding further. We have successfully closed Ubuntu, and now we will proceed with restarting our machine promptly. Once the machine has been restarted, we head back to the open phone page to follow the installation steps, we go to downloads again, run it on Windows, and now we are going to open Ubuntu, which is the subsystem we have installed. A window will show the installation process, prompting us to wait a few minutes. What we are going to do next is complete the installation of Ubuntu. Let's zoom in smoothly using the scroll wheel, holding down the control key for a clearer view. In this case, you will write your name, and I recommend that it be one that is easy to type. Once we hit enter, you will be prompted to enter your password, then confirm by repeating it, and that will complete the installation process. Now we will proceed with the installation of OpenPhone. On this page, it tells us to install OpenPhone, and we will go to download OpenPhone version 12 for Ubuntu. Now, let's move forward with the installation process by carefully copying each of the provided command lines. We start with the first one, right-click to copy, and here we paste it with a right-click. Please enter the password you just created, and after that, we will continue with the execution of the second command line. You will need to press enter once, then press enter again. Now, we will advance to point two, and subsequently, we will move on to point three, where OpenFoam version 12 will be installed successfully. This is where the version of OpenFoam you are installing is indicated. We press the enter key, and with that simple action, the installation of OpenFoam officially begins to take place. It should be emphasized that with the installation of OpenFoam, the version of ParView is also installed. You can also have ParView installed as a standalone application independently. The installation of OpenFoam has completed, let's open the Windows Explorer, and here we have under Network Linux and Ubuntu 22.04. We entered Ubuntu, then went to OPT, and inside OPT we see OpenFoam 12. It's fine to make the final version of the program. We continue with the process as indicated on the website, and over time we can update the version of OpenFoam that we already have. Let's move forward now with the user setup process. We will copy this specific command line, and once you paste it here, you will observe the following message. The command get it was not found, and you will be prompted to install it. It will display the various versions available for you to use in order to install get it successfully. Let's copy the first one, hit enter, and then the following message will appear saying, get it 46.1 of canonical installed. All right, let's repeat the process. We will copy this command line where we encountered an error earlier, and now that get it, which is the text editor, is installed, you will be able to see the Bashrik file. To proceed with the next step, you will navigate to the last line of your document, which in this specific instance is line 117. Following that, in point two of the instructions, you will copy the entire command line, ensuring you include the initial point and then paste it into the following line, which is line 118. You click on the save button, close the window, and now we will proceed to copy information from the run space dashboard help section. In this particular case, it seems that the specified file has not been found and this issue arises because we executed the command in the terminal while installing OpenFoam. What we are going to do to prevent this error from appearing and to ensure that OpenFoam has been installed is to open a new terminal in Ubuntu. We open it up, let's enlarge the screen for improved visibility, and here you will paste the phone brand followed by a space, a dash, and then the word hell. And now, that error message no longer appears. We have OpenFoam installed on our machine without any issues. Now, let's get started, and to do that, we will develop a small tutorial. Before we proceed, we need to create the root folder, which will serve as our primary working folder. We open the Windows Explorer application, then navigated to the Ubuntu 22.04 directory, specifically to the home folder for the username NSIV that you created, but here we do not have the work folder available. What we are going to do is copy mpdir, which means to make a directory or create a directory, we copy make dear, and in the new terminal, you will paste it. You hit the enter key, and we return to Windows Explorer. In the location where NSIB was previously, you press F5, 
and now the option Open Phone appears. We have now accessed Open Phone, NSIB version 12, and upon entering this system, we find ourselves in the RAM folder. This folder serves as our designated working area and, at this point, is entirely devoid of any files or content. In this specific folder is where we will conduct our simulations, and for that purpose, we will copy the following command line, which represents a fairly quick simulation derived from the PITS daily tutorial for efficient testing and learning. Let's copy the text here, paste it, enlarge the screen a bit for better visibility, and then we will proceed to copy the file. Make sure to remember to include the period at the end of this command line. We continue copying the third command line, and if we go back to the Windows Explorer, here in Run, it's empty. We're going to press F5, and we now have Pits Daily, which is the tutorial we just created. We are going to execute it. For that, we first create the mesh with Block Mesh, and then we run it with Foam Run. The simulation has concluded. It is a quick simulation, and now we will visualize it with Foam, and Panaview version 5.10 will appear. We will close this current window, click Apply right here, change the color setting to Speed, and then click Play in this area. Alright friends, we have successfully installed the latest version of OpenFoam. Remember that if you have the previous version installed, which is version 11, you need to uninstall it in order to perform a clean installation. If you have any questions or inquiries, you can write them in the comments. Greetings to everyone.